Hello everyone, all who are one body of Christ. Our Sarah welcomes to this door to give us together. Today I'm meditating upon line and the sand. Before I start, let's just keep talking this topic. Mark chapter 7, verse 20 to 23. And he said, What comes out of a person is what defiles him. For from within, out of the heart of man, come evil thoughts, sexual immortal- immorality, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. Now so you can learn from the verse we've just read. We have all heard people talk about the proverbial line in the sand. Whatever the context, the point is always the same. You can go far, this far, but no farther. We have now come to the important point in our study where we honestly face how and when our bitterness can become sinful. This is the line in the sand that God instructs us not to cross. The good news is that the Lord is our gracious King who stands ready with strength to help us avoid taking steps that would dishonor Him and destroy ourselves. Additionally, He is our merciful Savior who is willing to forgive and cleanse us when we have become sinfully bitter. The hope is that we don't cross the line into sinful bitterness, but if we do, He provides a way out. God's Word paints a comprehensive picture of how human life works. Our behavior, including bitterness, flows out of a fully functioning heart or inner person. In Mark chapter 7, verse 20, Jesus explained it like this, that which proceeds of the man, that is what defiles the man. The word heart is used over 700 times in the Bible. It isn't simply the seat of our emotions or the physical organ in our body. In God's word, heart encompasses every aspect of our inner person. It is our control center and includes everything about us that is not material. King Solomon demonstrates the importance and explains it well in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. Watch over your heart with all diligence, for from it it flows the springs of life. Sinful bitterness in the heart always begins with misplaced desires. Often they come in the form of unreasonable expectations we set up for people and situations around us. Our children, spouse, co-workers, neighbors, and everyone else must behave in a certain way. Once we go from I'd like to have to I must have, there is idolatry in our heart. We do what we do because we want what we want. One way to watch over our heart with all diligence is to give careful attention to any given moment to the nature of our desires. What should be, what should we be asking ourselves? What am I wanting right now? And is this the desire from God? What we need to do is often examine the condition of our hearts let's transform ourselves this season of fasting and preparation by committing to examining our hearts daily and making this a common habit let's continue to ask ourselves what am i wanting right now and is this got a desire from god this message was gives us a promise today today the promise is but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all things will be added to you Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Holy Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, too often I have allowed, allowed my worries and fretful fears to overtake my heart and mind, which causes my faith to falter when I should be looking to you and remembering your never-failing faithfulness. Thank you for the simple truth in the serum of Mount on the Mount that God knows all of my needs and will never leave me comfortless. Help me to always remember that if you feed the bird of the air and clothe the flowers of the field so beautifully, you will most certainly take care of your children who have trusted Christ for salvation. Help me to keep the eyes of my heart on Jesus and not on the circumstances of life. Loving Father, I know that too often a lack of my faith in your promises of provisioning have caused me to seek after the things of this world by myself. I confess that this is a lack of faith in you and pray that the eyes of my heart would be focused on you from this day forward. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. How this dear one, if God's going to talk to you tomorrow.